Hi, I'm Matt Simmons, product manager for Bluesound. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the steps for a proper Dirac Live calibration. Through this process, we'll measure the room using a microphone at various points. Then we'll optimize the sound and even customize it. At the very end, we can compare Dirac Live with the filter on or off. Before you get started, please ensure you visit bluesound.com slash Dirac to download the Dirac Live app, the Bluesound target curve, and purchase your desired Dirac license. Make sure you have a Dirac-enabled Bluesound player and a certified measurement microphone. For the setup, you need your Bluesound player ready for playback with all speakers connected, up-to-date BlueOS firmware, a constant network connection during calibration, background noises silenced, and a clear path to leave the room during measurement. We'll begin with the initial setup. To start, connect your Dirac-enabled Bluesound player to the same network as your laptop, phone, or tablet. Connect the measurement microphone to the Bluesound player itself or to your computer. Using the Dirac Live app, we'll sign in to our Dirac account in order to retrieve our purchased license. From there, you can select the player you want to calibrate. This puts the player into measurement mode, which means Dirac Live temporarily manages device volume and playback until calibration is over. Next, select the microphone attached to the device. Once your player is ready for measurement, you can get your microphone ready. It is important that you place the microphone in your usual listening position for the first measurement. This is the most important position for accurate measurement results. Now we need to perform volume calibration. We'll start by making sure any background noises like air conditioning or road noise are safely quieted. Dirac Live automatically sets our system volume to a low level. We recommend getting gain to 0 dB, then gradually increase the volume of the measurement tones until they reach approximately our normal listening volume. Be careful with master output. This corresponds to device volume, and moving the slider to the top is the same as turning the volume knob all the way up. Next, we'll select the listening arrangement applicable for our space. Dirac Live offers different listening arrangements optimized for rooms of different sizes and configurations. Since we're in a smaller space, we'll select the tightly focused imaging arrangement, where the correction accounts for the space of the room. Now it's time for the most important part, measurement. Dirac Live will learn how our speakers and room affect sound as compared with perfect reproduction. Once you press the measure button, the measurement will start. You can use this timer to set a delay, giving you time to leave the room. With the mic in the first position, we'll run our first measurement. This measurement decides gain and delay for all speakers. Now that our first measurement is taken, we're going to move the microphone to cover all the points in the arrangement. We're using the on-screen position indicators to give us a guideline of where to place the microphone next. With all our measurements done, it's time to optimize our sound. Dirac Live automatically applies a default correction filter to minimize your room impact and enhance your speaker sound by correcting the frequency and impulse response of the sound system. If you just want fast optimization without further adjustments, you can skip ahead to filter export in the listening test. But if you're interested in designing your own signature sound, you can customize the correction filter by dragging points on the target curve. We can achieve the frequency response we want, emphasizing things like bass or mid-range. Now that our target curve is designed, we can send the correction filter to the Blue Sound player over Wi-Fi. We do this by exporting the filter in the Dirac Live app. Once the bar reaches 100, the filter is now available on your player, and Dirac Live room correction is active in your space. Try adjusting the active filter in the Blue Oss app for an on-off comparison. This is a great chance to feel out whether you want more or less of a certain frequency and then export a new filter with those considerations. 
and that's all it takes to maximize the performance of your Blue Sound player using Dirac Live. Happy listening.